only problem we have is uh, how long can we enjoy this great weather? And unfortunately, right. that window is beginning to close. Mm -hmm. We do have some changes outside, though, right now. You wouldn't know it. It is perfect. There's a live shot from our downtown Orlando Sky Camp. Some high clouds around. We're at 77, 77 degrees in February. This is why we live here, right? Nice light breeze out of the east southeast, about seven miles an hour. We actually have a heat index. It feels like 79 degrees because that humidity value has been coming on up. Temperatures elsewhere, 75 in the villages. Room temperature Daytona Beach and into the upper 60s already over in Cocoa. Made it to 82 degrees this afternoon. Average high 75. So, as advertised this morning and last night, we were expecting warmer than average temperatures, and that trend will continue tonight and tomorrow. So, it's a perfect sunset outside. Nine o'clock, we drop to about 70 degrees, and then mid 60s for about 11 o'clock tonight. Actual low temperatures will continue to fall north and west. I think about 59 in Bushnell, 60 degrees in Webster, and the villages 61 for Mount Dory Eustis, about 60 degrees in Paisley, 62 in Claremont, 62 degrees Kissimmee, 61 Altamont Springs, 60 degrees in Longwood, 61 in Orlando. And you notice as we kind of push off toward the east and northeast, we begin to shave off a couple of degrees here, 58 degrees in Deltona, 57 Flagler Beach, about 56 in Bunnell, and then into Brevard County, kind of a bit milder as we push off to the south, 62 in Melbourne, but 61 degrees on Cocoa Beach and 60 degrees over at the Cape. As far as tomorrow goes, it's another day with bright sunshine and warmer than average temperatures. We typically find ourselves this time of year at 75 degrees, but we'll hit 80 degrees in Orlando, I think, once more, 79 in Claremont, 76 in Ocala, about 75 Palm Coast and 77 degrees in Titusville. Great weather thanks to this area of high pressure. But the bad news is we're beginning to shave that high a little further and further off to the south over the next couple of days' time. So for your Monday, that southerly wind continues. Then we start to watch this real weak frontal boundary kick into central Florida. That will really happen on Tuesday. And while that weak front moves through, it's going to help to drop our temperatures a couple of degrees in the afternoon. But it also helps to set the stage for easy development of low pressure. Off the coastline, and the models for the last three or four days have really been hinting at this. You don't notice a big change Tuesday, but by Wednesday, that's when we begin to get another little piece of energy from the Gulf moving on through, and that puts even more moisture into central Florida. And it also basically puts railroad tracks down for storm systems. If the storms are the locomotives, they just keep traveling on these tracks. So, one after another, we're expecting a couple little weak areas of low pressure, a couple of little impulses of moisture to move in. So, midweek, through, unfortunately, next weekend, look to see decent rain chances just about each and every day. For tomorrow, if you're wanting to bask in the sunshine, just know water temperatures are still chilly, upper 50s, lower 60s, moderate risk, especially in the afternoon for rip currents with air temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. So tonight we're looking pretty good. Fog does look to be developing, though, by tomorrow morning. I'll be talking more about that tonight at 10 and 11. 80 degrees for your Monday, 73 for your Tuesday, then rain returns Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.